Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing my what sold for last week, which will be Monday through Thursday, 1127 to 1130, end of the month. Sales were amazing. So there's no complaints there, but y'all, all this, have you guys ever read the story, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day? That's what I'm dealing with right now. Or we can just throw in, when it rains, it pours. I don't even know where to go with this story. Last week, Monday, after the holiday, the, the, after Thanksgiving, that Monday, I shipped 67 packages that day. I had shipped Saturday, thankfully. 67 packages. The carrier did not scan them. They always scan my packages. Always in my driveway. Never been an issue before. They didn't get scanned that day. They didn't get scanned at the post office. They didn't get scanned till they made it to Georgia two days later. So at this point, I'm starting to get the late shipment dings. Luckily, in eBay's, however it works, you know, you have to have a scan within uh, your handling time, which none of mine are because I have one day handling. But it, as long as it's also delivered within the shipping time frame, you don't get a ding. So far, I'm at six. I don't know how many, how far this is going to go. I don't know how many. Some of them are still traveling. A lot of them have been delivered, thankfully. I just, I don't even know what eBay considers the delivery time frame. You know, is it a couple of days for people near me? And is there grace for it having to get to California and the West Coast? I don't know. I'm this close to upgrading to an anchor store just so I could have a person to talk to and you know I, I'm not I haven't done it yet but you know I'm I'm holding my fingers crossed that I don't get very many more because if I get at the three percent defect um, I'll lose my top rated status my top rated plus discount the ten percent off my fees you know your listings kind of get bumped down in the search when you're not top rated. Um, so, you know, I'm facing that. I went to my post office and basically the postmaster told me they don't have to scan my packages. They don't. If I'm not using a scan sheet, which if you've ever done the eBay scan sheet, you know it's awful. Consider trying to pack 67 packages, fill in the scan sheet, print out 67 labels, and then go find the packages that each one of those labels went to. Um, we're considering doing pirate ship, but we tried it out today, and I don't know if we're doing something wrong, but it doesn't tell you what the buyer chose. You just put in the dimensions of the package, and it tells you, okay, here's the label. Well, you know, if my buyer chose priority and it's picking ground advantage, I'm going to have to go into eBay and check every single item to see what the buyer chose because sometimes they upgrade. So th this is a mess. This is a mess. Has anybody else's postmaster told you they do not have to scan your packages? He said they're only required to scan five of my packages. So and then I've got some other issues that I'll show you guys as we're going through the listings because, you know, when it rains, it pours. Somebody said, um, usually when you have issues, they come in three. Well, I've had my three. I've had my three. I I'm, I'm waiting for a break now from all of this. Y'all, I need to go on vacation. All right, <laughs> let's get through these. A couple of sales on Mercari. Car is just not performing to my, to, to what I thought they should be. This was a good sale, nevertheless. This is House of Lloyd, which is Christmas around the world. It was a 15 inch dog, sold for $32. And then these Mattel Thomas the Train and Percy Motorized Interactive Train set sold for $27. 
Now Poshmark, I had five sales, but y'all, I haven't had any sales on Poshmark in the last five days. McDonald's women's uniform pants. Don't even know where we picked those up at. Sold for $17. Wish Pets Taylor, the pink shark, sold for $12. Dakin White Rabbit Plush um, Skier. He has skis in his hands. Sold for $19 on Poshmark. Wolf and Poof. Scotty the Dog. It's Musical Wind Up. Sold for $19. And, oh wait here. American Eagle Super Stretch Women's Jeans. Sold for $18. And um, this Russ Camellia White Rabbit Plush. Sold for $12. Now eBay. First one to share with you. Robert picked these up. I don't even remember these. I don't tend to look at the boots and shoes as much as he does. But these were some Ariat Western boots. Rough condition. Sold for $42.46. This was at, from a recent gift box. This was a Folkmanis NCIS Hippo Puppet. It didn't have the little voice noise um, sound box in it. Sold for $19.51. Hug Fun. Even when I saw this, I knew this was something unique. Um, Hug Fun. It was a vintage tag. Nine inch crab. Sold for $19.95. Sold very quickly. Pyrex. Y'all, if you find these Pyrex glass percolators at yard sales and estate sales, if you can get them for, for me, I usually, it's like five bucks. Um, and then I part them out. I think I'm left with just the lid at this point on this one. This was just the pot itself sold for $10. The stem is the one, that little glass stem on the inside. I think I sold mine for like $29 or $30 for it. Walmart Shaggy Chicken Plush sold for $12.71. Problem number two. Problem number two. I'm getting a return on this because it, they said that the music, the sound music plays very quickly and it's not going to be soothing to a child. But y'all, I have a video. It is not very slow. It's, it's a quick tune on there. But I have a video and yet they opened up an item is defective case. It's just, it's annoying. Y'all, automatic, automatic. Uh, block bitter. But I'm hoping I can get a hold of somebody because uh, and at least report this as a false um, item not you know defective thing because they knew it, they if they had just listened to the video they would have known that it's it's a very quick tune it's you know just kind of you know that it's not a calm one. All right, American Eagle boot cut men's jeans sold for $15. Bass Pro Shop Gray Raccoon. See in my title, this one was from fall 2015. For some reason, it's important to put that information in there and it sold for $11.40. Musical Stockings, y'all, I pick up most, a lot of stockings all year round. I list them as I get them. And, of course, this time of year, lots of them sell. This is Dandy, and it sold for $20. Disney, 101 Dalmatian. His name was Dipstick, and he sold for $19.95. Care Bears Togetherness Plush. This is one of the large 24-inch bears. I picked up three of these at a church sale. I paid two or three dollars each for them. This one sold for $25. I, you know, this is one of those times I know exactly where I picked this up. We were passing through a town and I found a thrift store and we stopped and I picked up these colors by Alexander Julian. I have found shirts with that brand, but these were coffee mugs in that brand, and they finally sold for $37.41. Problem number three. 
already got a negative feedback on there. See up there, new to you toys, 99.9%. .9 I'm going to get this removed, but eBay just will not follow their own policy. I've already talked about this. They gave me a negative already because it is wandering through the postal system. It's not been delivered yet. I know it's frustrating. I ship this in one day, just like I'm supposed to. I do have the scan that it was shipped the day after they purchased it. And they've left me a negative already. And I've already re requested through the automated system to get it removed. I stated eBay policy that says this is out of my control. I've done everything that I was supposed to. I just don't understand why eBay can't stop these feedback until at least the item shows delivered or something. I don't know, but it's annoying. And they said that the shipping was too much. Well, they're paying actual shipping at this point. I have my listing set that they get my discounted rate. So obviously this person doesn't know just how expensive it is to ship a pretty heavy um, small appliance. It's very frustrating. I know I'll get it off, but just another reason why I just think I want to go ahead and upgrade to an anchor store just to get the concierge. House of Hatton. Love that brand. Find it on occasion, um, and it tends to do well for me. I do have a couple of Christmas ornaments. I probably need to take the price down because I put crazy prices on them when I found them. Um, but this stocking sold for $16. Russ BB Bear Plush. Pretty sure this came from that private pick estate sale where I won all of those vintage plush a lot of them had their original paper tags, and some of them were still in their original boxes. Um, this Russ sold for $25.46. Rodney Reindeer. I think Robert made a post in my Facebook group this week. Just this month, and I think this was like two days ago, I've sold six of these. Six of the Rodney Reindeers. Either Rodney or the other three characters in that series. They're all the small ones. Um, this one, I actually had two listed. And the, the first one sold for $19.95. I have sold another different one also in this series um, during this time frame. And it sold for $17.95. And y'all, I pick these up for usually a quarter or 50 cents at yard sales all the time. As you can see, I've sold three of these. Hess Helicopter. Pretty sure I picked it up at the bins, um, so it wouldn't have been a whole lot. Sold for $19.95. Another viewer sell, so thank you so much, Tracy. I actually have two Tracys in this um, series of, of, of my solds that um, have purchase stuff from me. So this is Tracy number one, and she bought these Snappy Snap Aurora plush lots. Um, made it, sold for a total of, let me move this thing out of the way, $84.90. All right, these, I picked these up at a yard sale, and I want to say I paid five bucks for them. I didn't have internet. I just there's certain places in our town that I just can't get internet. I was hoping they were worth more, but they ended up just being mm, okay shoes. But they were called Cougar How Do Pat Black Patent Leather Shoes. I ended up taking an offer of $18 for them. Small appliances, y'all. Pieces and part them out. Um, this was an Oster Regency Kitchen Center blender. Sold for $9.00. I actually sold two sets of these. These are Stanley Roberts Astro Dinner Forks. I picked up a lot of them, probably paid five to ten dollars for them, and then I break them up into small lots, lots, small lots like this, like sets of four. The four, the two sets of these both sold for eighteen dollars each. Gibson Greetings. Um, 
I actually have a couple of these listed and this one sold for $8.96. They're from 1993. They have the nylon body. I will almost always pick up plush that have nylon bodies. Some of them are bread and butter. Some of them are worth a lot. Carter's Lovies. I talk about Lovies a lot. Many of them are bread and butter. Like this one, it sold for $8.06. Vintage Galoob Baby Face Doll. I actually picked this up when we were down at FlipCon. We went out the day after FlipCon ended and ended up running into um, ADH Dave and Commonwealth Picker and a bunch of others. And we all went into a thrift store and I ended up finding this and showing it to Dave to say, don't pass these dolls up, don't. Um, but this one sold for $30. This is another viewer sale, so thank you very much, Misty. Misty bought this Lots and Lots of Legs Caterpillar for $8. All right, I picked these up at the Goodwill bins. Um, I think the last time we were in St. Louis, I think so. There were a whole bunch of these in the bins, and I started picking up some of them, and then somebody else started handing me tons of them. And you know, a lot of times if people are helping me, then I tend to pick up you know, keep what they're handing me. Um, but these were all ugly dolls, but they were little clip-ons. So they were little. I decided to make a set of four and they sold for $11.66. This sold very quickly. You know how that happens when you sell and list with, when you list something and it sells within like an hour, you're like, hmm, hmm. A lot of times it's just you have found the right buyer at that right time. This was a Ralph Lauren Polo men's thermal shirt, $9.50. Disneyland Cinderella baby toddler doll, $8.02. So tons of bread and butter. I didn't show you guys a majority of them. I just wanted to show that I am selling still lots and lots of bread and butter. Gund Panda Bear. This is an 18-inch plush, $16.16. Pyrex. Oh, this is to that Pyrex coffee pot. This was the glass basket, sold for $17.95. More clothes. Lawrence Kozar women's, just kind of really ornate shirt. Perfect for, you know, the holidays, sold for $18. This is another viewer sale, so thank you so much, Betsy. Betsy bought this for her daughter to go with her E. coli plush. This was the giant microbes flesh-eating plush. I love these. I love them. Sold for $6.50. Eden. I found a couple of these. I'm not sure if it was a yard sale or whatever, so I'd probably be, you know, 50 cents or less in them. Um, this was the Eden Butterfly and it sold for $13.45. Orange Monster Plush from Classic Toy Company. It's not a brand I pick up often, except when it's something unique like this. I tend to pick up a lot of like monsters or aliens or maybe some character plush um, in that brand, um, but this one was a good pickup, $22. Mary Meyer. Love that brand. This is a snowman, sold for $13.45. Simply Southern Women's Dress. It's funny as I was processing clothes today and I must have two of these dresses because today was one of these that I already I picked up and I kept thinking, I already thought I listed this. Well, now I know why. Um, this dress sold for $12 best offer. To me, that looks like the perfect kind of dress to go like on a cruise, on a cruise. Hallmark Murray the Moose. This is kind of in the same, um, looks just like the Rodney Reindeer ones. There was, there's a lion, um, there's a sheep. There's several others that Hallmark made that are made of like the same fabric and everything that Rodney is. This Murray the Moose sold for $15.00. Animal Adventure Gray Rabbit Plush. I like that brand. Um, sold for $10. Now, 
I picked these up at my favorite little estate sale company that we go to quite often. I think I paid a quarter. I got a whole stack of these stockings. Some of them were Cabbage Patch. Some of them were Get Along that Gang. And there might have been another. I can't remember. Maybe it was just like puppies and cats, you know, with the Christmas theme. Um, but these two stockings sold for $13.50. Now, these next few sales are another viewer sale, so thank you so much, Kathy. Kathy bought these Carhartt men's jeans for $20. These Boyd's Bears dog plush for $10. And she snatched this up as soon as I listed it, the Hallmark Rainbow Bright Dog for $13.25. All right, then I sold this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle plush by Playmates. Sold for $20.17. Now, I picked up a VeggieTales nativity set, and I think the manger was broken. It might have been missing another piece. I can't quite remember. So I just decided to divvy it up into small lots. These were the three wise men. I think I put, like, two, like, shepherds. I don't remember how I divvied it up, but these are the three wise men and they sold for $14. This is a different Tracy, but another viewer sale. So thank you so much, Tracy. Tracy bought two lots for me. She says her daughter loves these puppy surprise puppies. So she bought this lot of three for $10 and then this lot of three for $9.25. So thank you very much. Some of these hot curler sets can do really, really well. So definitely always check your comps. I want to say I paid three, maybe five dollars for these. I want to say I bought them at maybe the red, white, and blue when I was up in Connecticut. I can't quite remember, um, but they ended up selling for twenty-two dollars and forty-five cents. All right, this was just vintage plush, y'all. This was a Russ Little Green Rabbit six inch and a McCrory Corp dog plush, also six inch. The two combined sold for $20.90. Now, I picked up several of these at the Tea and Pickers yard sales when they were getting ready to move. This is Bob Mackie. It was just a cute little dragon sweater, sold for $15. Fairview Gray Mouse Stocking Sack. I tend to call them sacks because you actually put the stuff down inside the belly area right here. Um, I love grabbing these. Um, this one sold for best offer of $10. Jelly Cat. You know, there's some Jelly Cat that sell for tons and tons, and then there are just mostly bread and butter ones. This is just the White Bashful Bunny, sold for $11 best offer. I, again, another example of these knit stockings. I tend to find these at yard sales and estate sales for like a quarter. It's been listed a while, but it finally sold for $8.02. Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse Furniture. This was a set I hadn't seen before. I just decided to keep all of the pieces together. They looked like they went to like a nursery or a child's room. Um, they sold for $35.95. Lolly, this is Fisher Price. I've got mine still up there. Um, but this is from 1975. There's a blue one named Cholly, and then the pink one is Lolly. This one sold for $9.86. Disney Store Piglet Plush sold for $11.66. I tend to pick up a lot of Winnie the Pooh stuff. Just, I love them. Now, this was a surprise. It, it sold probably within an hour of listing it. It was a Build-A-Bear Snoopy Dog Plush and sold for $29.95. This is a Russ Curly Junior. There's another one that's larger, and then the Junior is the six inch version. This um, Russ Plush sold for $13.45. Charter Club, I think somebody told me that that's Macy's. Um, 
or I could be getting it confused with something else. But I could have swore somebody said it's Macy's. This is a 13-inch monkey sold for $17.95. And then a couple of my larger cells for that four-day period. Um, this are These are Pokemon VHS tapes. Um, this was from that yard sale that I bought all of their plush for a dollar each. I think there was like 150, 60 of them. Um, and then I bought lots of other stuff. These VHS, I want to say was a dollar each. So I paid $13. They ended up selling for a best offer of $50. Now this is a Robert find. I think he picked this up at a church yard sale. I can't remember for sure. I know I didn't pick it up though. Um, these are things he looks for. Just the odd stuff. But y'all, $76.46. It's like a game by Steve Jackson. That's all I know. I took pictures of everything that was included in each of the things. And then I waited. Sometimes you gotta wait, but I waited. All right, and then this Avon Holiday Tree. This had the musical um, train inside of it. I have video of it working. This was also from a, a estate sale that I went to and she brought me in the house and just showed me all of these Avon items that her mom had been a, a dealer with and I made a huge pile. I want to say I paid $45 for everything that day and here's just one of them and I've sold quite a bit of it already. This particular one sold for $53.95. And then another viewer sell. Same. The, the Tracy that bought the Snaps Aurora Plush also bought this. Tracy has been a wonderful supporter of my YouTube channel and my eBay store, so I really appreciate it. She picked up this huge PJ mask lot. I just, I had a bunch unlisted, and I thought, I'm just going to unlist everything and make a big lot, and she purchased it for $62.95. And then my best sale of the week is this. This was from that um, private pick estate sale that I went to. Um, again, it had its little paper tag. You could just tell it had been purchased and then just set aside or displayed. Never really played with. It worked. It worked. I have a video of showing that it works. It was a talking, you talked to it and it talked back. $89.96. Alright y'all. I feel better now that I've just you know, shared with you the trials and tribulations of just being a reseller. Sometimes, you know, everything is great and you can just, you know, go with the flow and not have any issues. And then there's days like I've had this week, but it's going to be all right. I'm going on vacation soon. <laughs> all right, y'all. Get to work. Bye.